Hi everyone, it's been a really long time and I got my birthday gifts from uh, Sephora and Ulta and I wanted to share them with you. And also I bought two small purchases from Ulta and I wanted to share those with you as well. So here we go. Um, the first thing I got from Sephora, the only thing I got from Sephora, was the Glow Recipe little trial travel size things. Um, this is the Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. Um, this is 25 mils, and then the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, and that's 15 mils. I haven't tried any Glow Recipe products yet, but I've been really into it and been dying to try some, so I'm super excited that they uh, had this for the birthday. Um, for Ulta, for the birthday gift, um, the packaging is really cute. This is the Drunk Elephant, the Get Shit Done Cream, the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Um, this is 15 mils, and I do like their packaging. I did have a little value set from them that I tried years ago, which I didn't care for, um, but I didn't try this, so I'm really excited to try this to give it up to give it a go because the cream I have now um, is the Charlotte Tilbury magic master magic I think it's magic cream um, it's just a little one um, it's okay I'm not crazy about it um, I don't like the fact that it's heavily fragranced I'm not used to having fragrances in my skincare and um, I just it hydrates. I just don't think it does, you know, like above and beyond. Um, I think the oils that I use from the ordinary do a lot better job penetrating than that. But I mean, it's nice. I'm going to use it up. And then when I'm done with that, I will move on to this. Uh, the next two things I got from Ultra are, Ulta, it's only an Ultra, Ulta are small. Um, I just recently finished my Clinique Take the day off cleansing balm. I like to double cleanse, so I wanted to try this one. This is the Elemis. This was $17. This is just the regular one. Um, it's 0 0.7 ounces. Um, I wanted to give this a try. I used to use Elemis a really, really long time ago um, when I was a teenager, and I feel like their products have changed. Um, probably they reformulated them. Um, most likely, but um, I just remember they had this sprayer that I would put on in the shower, like and spray your like a toner or something like that, and it was just it smelled so good. It just it had that spa smell, but I haven't used anything from Elmis in quite a while, and I wanted to give this a go. I had repurchased the Clinique like three or four times already, and I figured that I wanted to try something else, so I did. So go me. Um, then the Clinique Black Honey lipstick that uh went viral a while ago um i keep forgetting that i did want to try that but i was waiting for the lady to be done in sephora in front of me so i was walking through the aisles and i looked at it and i remembered it and i was like oh that's right so i swatched it and it was okay i mean it, it looked nice but it was 24 dollars, and i couldn't do that right now so i had googled clinique dupes uh clinique black honey dupes and then apparently they have pink honey as well now which i never knew but i Googled that and I remembered a couple of months ago that uh, the you some of the YouTubers that I watch, they had found dupes for it. So um, I ended up getting the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine um, in a static. And I'm gonna try that later tonight when um, I do my makeup because I've worked later. Um, I didn't get the pink one as well because I honestly, don't need any more pink lipsticks or any more nude lipsticks. I think I'm good with that for quite a while. Um, but this was $7, so it's much more affordable than the Clinique. And if I do like this, then maybe I'll try the Clinique. I don't know, maybe like, I'm super excited about all of the, uh, the gift sets and the value sets for the holidays. That's one of my favorite things. I love seeing like what comes out. Um, so yeah, that is all I got. Uh, all right, bye.